how to. There's a problem with this mower, and I'll show you what it is. Pooh Bear, you will help me? I will help you. Now I've already primed it. Prime it again. Two, three. There's the problem. Well, that's a symptom. It won't run. It won't stay running. Let's see if I can get you down in here. Show you what the problem is. I don't know if you can see it. Give me a lighter and I'll light this so they can see it. Where's your lighter? That's a joke. It's a oh. gas tank. <laughs> Any... Of course, I'm going to go run and get a lighter for him. <laughs> I did just complete first aid training 10 minutes ago, so if you want to do that, let's try okay. it out. Okay. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you can, let's see if we can turn this. I don't know if you can see down in there. I don't know if this camera's picking it up, but if you look down in there and you see a bunch of bubbles, it's water. There's water in there. I already dumped some of it out, but it wasn't covered up, got rain. Now, these caps, and I'll tell you why. Well, I got a cap on it. Well, these caps have to be vented or they won't run. Creates a suction in there and it can't suck gas up in there. Just like if you pour out a gallon of water out of a milk jug or something, it makes that glove, glove, glove noise. Now, if you poke a hole in the bottom of that and dump it out, it'd dump out clear. Well, so that's not gonna keep your water out. It's gonna get water in it. And it does have a lot of water in it. So what I'm gonna do, man, I hope you guys can see that. Maybe if I zoom in or something. much but anyway you see like bubbles in there or like a milky color it's got water in it that's all the problem is so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dump the rest of that out and uh, put fresh water put fresh gas I'm going to put fresh water in it while you go get the lighter yeah it's a joke <laughs> look she's still going okay <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to put fresh gas in this thing, and we'll see if we can't get it to run. It may take a couple times to get it up through, get what's in the carburetor, what may be in the intake, what may already be in the cylinder out. But let's put some fresh gas in here and give it a shot. I'll be right back with it. Now what I did, oh, I'm back. What I did was I took a rag, and I stuffed down in that gas tank, and I used a screwdriver. Got it all around there inside there turned it up turned it on its side so when this starts up since it was on its side wasn't very long but it may smoke but if you do that and your motor starts smoking like crazy it'll stop smoking in a minute don't worry about it. it's no big deal so let's see if that works it may take a couple different tries because there's still maybe some water up in the carburetor and stuff but let's see what happens here Two, three. Oh, there you get are you in here right? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. That's that's all it takes. First thing you do when it's acting like that, check your gas. You know, if there's a lot of dirt in there, you may have to take the tank and carburetor off and clean it. But in that case, it was just a little water. About five minutes, it was good to go. So there's a little tip for you. I know it's getting to be the end of summer, but remember that for next year. So uh, there you go. What do you think, Pooh Bear? I think I'm ready to cut grass. <laughs> All right, yeah, I just got home. She said, motor won't start and did this funky thing of how it was acting. <laughs> I knew what it was. I told her before I even came outside, it's got water in it, didn't I? Yeah, you did. So, uh, we've dealt with them for 35 years or whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah, so there you go. It's good to go and, uh, well. Pooh Bear, I'm out to cut grass. All right, Shea Bear, I'm gone. Thanks for watching.
gone Drag my mower out 